you for the blood, Lord, that washes us and makes us whole, Lord. Oh, God, we praise and magnify you for all you've done, for all you're doing and going to do. Please take your liberty in the service today, God. Oh, God, overshadow us, Lord. Touch Sister Judy, Lord, and minister to her. Touch her, God. Touch Sister Pauline today, Lord. Touch and heal her body. Minister to her, God, and give her the healing that's needed in her, in her chest and lungs and, God, her body. Please touch and minister that your will be accomplished. Lord, you saw each hand that went up today. You know what it represents. You see our family and loved ones, Lord. Oh, God, draw us ever nearer to you, Lord. Help us, God, to have sanctified hearts and minds, God, Lord, to be sensitive to you today, Lord. Oh, God, not our will, but your will be done. Take your liberty, sweet Lord, we pray today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's sing that in his presence. Amen.
face to face. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Everybody got the victory? Amen. Yes. Amen. All right. We're going to uh, just uh, take a minute. Let's just get out and just don't Amen. take a long time, but let's take a a minute or two, and let's get out and greet one another in the Lord. Let each other know you're glad that they chose harvest time to worship the Lord in. And we're going to worship God. One God eternally existent in three offices. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I'm glad He saved me out of darkness and put me in His marvelous light. Let's worship God together.
that Brother Persinger was her dad. So she don't know what Spot is. Amen. Uh, she heard that tale a thousand times. Spot's that hole in the backyard when uh, people bring you something and it's just unbearable to eat. And you couldn't eat it. And you say, oh man, that hit the spot. But to me, I never could. I never could make that float or fly. To me, that was just too close to deceit and deception and just outright lying. But I've heard it as a joke over the years. But uh, I thank God. We appreciate Amen. Every time people bring us food, we've got a few people that do it. I thank God for what you do. That's not any kind of hint. That's just the way my mind is going this morning. Amen. Amen. Y'all are just rejoicing to be glad I'm here. Amen. 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 Everything growing out and what's hitting me this morning, I'm rem reminiscing. This right here used to, we used to. That was a signal to do something, and that was a signal for Daddy to slow down. And, and uh, you know, it's just signals, signals, signals. You think God's dead, but God's alive. Amen. God can help us and yes, lets us know what we need to do and how we need to do it if we'll just seek Him and follow Him. But it's already been quoted by a brother over here. I believe he said, "We have not because we ask not, and we receive not because we ask amiss that we might consume it upon our own lust." But I tell you, God sees where we're at, and he sees where he's wanting to take us in him. Amen. And my prayer is that God would help us to cooperate, mm -hmm. not kick against the pricks, not argue with him, not forget that he's God. He, he made us. Amen. And he knows what we need. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. Right. Praise the Lord. All right. Who has a song? All right. Sister Hannah has a song for us this morning. Amen. Somebody have a good testimony. All right. Sister, you want to testify? Testify or sing, whatever you need me to do. Okay. Stand and testify. Yeah. Okay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. As we've been in Texas on off for the last two years, taking care of our daughter until she passed a few weeks ago, um, you know, we've been, you know, riding down the strip and stuff like that, and we would see the church and everything, and, you know, we would we would go to the church in Mansfield, hey. but, you know, the Lord said just branch out. Just yes. before you leave Texas, just branch out. And, you know, we... Back home in Mississippi, we um, grew up in a uh, Pentecostal environment and everything, the shouting, praising God, and speaking in tongues, laying on of hands, casting out demons, and all of that stuff. Oh, yeah. And you know, I thank God, you know, for the life and legacy of my daughter. You know, she was 42 when she passed. She would have been 43 uh, three days later, but you know, God decided, you know, that it was her time and she was ready to go. And I thank God, you know, that for God being God and being real and relevant in your life. Yes. Always make sure that the way is made plain. Always right. make sure that your pathway is clear. Always highlight a Always make sure that your relationship with God is first and foremost beyond Amen. anything. And Amen. make sure if you're walking around, Bible thumping, talk, speaking in tongues, and everything else, and people around you that are sick. People that are, that are around you not able to do and not able to think. Make sure when the Lord asks you, did you go to them? Did you feed them? Did you clothe them? Did you help them? Did That's you do good. what I commissioned you to do? And you're able to stand before God and say, yes, Lord, I did what you commanded and commissioned me to do. Then your way is already made plain with the Lord. And I thank God for me and my husband being here today. You know, we'll be leaving back, going back to Mississippi after we finalize everything for here. her up here. But she's already been buried in Mississippi. But we thank God for being God. Not yes. just in Mississippi, not just in Texas. Yes. God is God yes. all over the world. Yes. And God is God yes. in the midst of hurt, pain, sorrow. He's yes. God. If you yes. only want to worship him when things are good and you're on the mountain, who do you trust? Whose report will you believe? You can only find true satisfaction in God when you know you've been to the valley and God bring you back to the mountain. Yes. Yes. Y'all keep us in your prayers right. that our journey here, you know, that God continue to bless us, to bless others, and that we have a safe travel back home to Mississippi. Amen. 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 Let the church say amen. amen. Oh, praise God. It's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Yes. Jerusalem is built as a city and well packed together, set throne in the house of David. Amen. 
I'm Pastor Holmes, and I just want to reference to the church today that it is a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. Yes, yes. amen. You know, yes. when you come in the house of the Lord, you're not a stranger. Yes. The Lord said, rejoice, yes. rejoice in yes. the Lord and do well. Yes. Yes. yes, that's what we're supposed to do as a church. Yes. And we're supposed to stay in communication with God. Yes, yes sir. I am so happy to know that, praise God, we were riding by you know, this morning, and we were just looking for, you know, a church, you know, but we've been visiting different churches here during our time of sorrow and the time of good. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, God knows all things. Yes. Yes. But when we leave it up to him, he yes. said, just leave it up to me. Yes. I am a moderator. Yes. I am the beginning and the ending. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Lord, yes. I thank you this morning. Yes. Amen. Oh, praise, yes. oh, praise God. I just thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. Yes. Yes. church people in here today that serve the Lord. Amen. Just for the little while that I was here, I felt the spirit, yes. of, the spirit of the Lord. Yes. 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 We got to know who we serve and better believe who we call them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Anointing and blood, the blood of Jesus. Yes. But when you trust in Him, yeah. He That's said, a, Not only trusting, I will right. provide a way out of no way. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I thank you for your time. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. God is for you, Jesus. Your way.
church? Yes. Yes. Amen. 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 All right. That'll be all the musicians. I'll be good to have you and Tammy here this morning. Y'all stand and testify. Amen. Brother Charlie, it's always good to be back home. Amen. Amen. Always call us our home church, you know. Um, Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Him, Lord. <laughs> glory, glory, oh, glory. glory. Church, let's worship the Lord today. Yes. Yes, thank you, Lord. Just worship the Lord, church. Yes, Amen. Lord Jesus. Be Lord worth Jesus. waiting on. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, yes Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. Thank you for this beautiful day that we can praise and worship you. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you for your thank you, Lord. Yes, God. For each and every saint that's in the sanctuary today. I thank you, Lord. This is family for the opportunity to love you and hear your word of praise and hear the great testimony of the saints, Lord. Let us all hold hands and hold your hand today, Lord. We worship you. We love you. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The other day I was uh, reading and studying the Word, and uh, I had uh, First Kings in uh, chapter twenty, uh, verse one. It talked about how that. Uh, uh, Benadad, the king of Syria, had gone and told his servants, they said, go and tell Ahab, uh, this is what I want from you, yeah. and this is what I'm going to take from you. Yeah. And uh, he said, thy silver, thy gold is mine, thy wives also, and thy children, even thy goodness, are all mine. And that's what he told uh, yeah. him that you know this is what I, this is what I'm gonna take this is what I'm gonna get from you right yeah you know I'm gonna take it all <clears throat> this is it. It's, it's, no, it's no longer gonna be yours right it's gonna be mine I'm gonna right. take it you know and I was sitting there thinking uh, you know that, that that's what uh, a lot of times that's what the Lord wants from us yes, right, right. Yes. he said I want you to surrender it all and pass Everything that you've got. Yes. Amen. He said, I want, I, want, I want your silver. I want your gold. Amen. Yeah. I want your wives. And I want your children. And I want all the good stuff that you have. Right. I want you to surrender it to yes. me. Yes, amen. amen. Everything that you got. I want it. That's right. It comes to us really. That's it. Yes. All of it. That's it. Amen. No longer mine. Yes. yes. Wherever Lord I drive, wherever I live, how much money I got in the bank, mm. it's all yours. Yes, yes. sir. Amen. Because yes. he's the one that gave it to us in the right. first place. Right. If it had not been put for him, we wouldn't be. Yes, sir. Or have right. uh -huh. what we have. That's right. I was talking to a young man the other day in the grocery store. And he was asking me different questions. 
about holiness, Pentecostal holiness. Mm. I, I was trying to, I was talking to him, and he was asking me different things about this and everything. And he, and he come up with, he said, well, he said one time I, I he had heard me, he had heard me uh, preach one time at this church, at this one church. He said, I remember that message that you preached. He said, and, and the way you preached it, you said you can't have one foot in the world like this. Right. You can't have one foot in the church like this. Right. Like, oh, hey, you strap around like this. That's up. All the time. You got one foot here and one foot there. Right. That's right. He said, that's not holiness. That's right. He said, that's right. He said, you got to live it right. Amen. He said, you got it. And he said, there's things in my life that I want to change. I said, you got to surrender it all. Amen. Amen. Take it all. Give it all oh. to him. All your oh. gold, your wife, your children, your money, yes. everything that you got, you got to give to him. Let him have it. Because you can't live. You can't live it. You can't live in the world. If you're going to live in the world, if you're going to be in the world. Right. You got to be with God. Amen. You got to be with God. The straight is your thing, wide. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now, yeah. Narrow. Yeah. 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 And straight. Yeah. That's, That's the way, the way yeah. you got to walk. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You can't have your foot over here, and you can't have your foot over here. Right. And he's walking down the right. aisle like this. He said, I, I want to walk like this. Yes. Yes, yes amen. amen. I'm going to give him everything that I've got. Right. Everything that I have, I surrender, Lord. Yes, yes. Master. Amen. That's what Ahab said. Glory. He said, you can have it all. Right. But he come back and said, his servant, his, his people come to him. Oh, he might not to do that. Help us, Lord. He might give it to him, but you can give it to God. Yes. And God, God will do it for you. Yes. God yes. will yes. conquer all that <coughs> being. Yes. Right. He will do it. He will, right. he will save you. All you got to do is surrender. That's it. Amen. Amen. To him, Amen. whatever it is. Yes. Amen. And walk the holiness way, the straight way of the world. Holiness. I'm talking about the old time. Yeah, God, yeah, God. Yes, sir. The way you know. The old That's time it. holiness. Amen. You know, there's people who walk so far from it nowadays. It's pitiful. It's sickening. Yeah. Yes. It is. I surrender to it. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He's, he's, he's taking me to stronger depths yeah. in my relationship with him. Yes, he'll do it. He's a bit because there's right. things that I'm surrendering yes. to him. Yes. And only him. Because that's the only way you're going to be able to make it. Yeah. Right. You're going to be able to make it one foot in the world and, and, and one foot in the Right. You're going to have to walk it straight. Right. Sure. Be straight. Talk right. straight. Live straight. Look straight. Thank you. Amen. 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 You're going to make it. I believe in holiness. Yes. I believe you got to walk it. Yes. I believe you got to talk it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the way. All the way. When you're All dressed, way. you're loose. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you amen. Yes, sir. Amen. I love the Lord. Yes, amen. 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 Thank you. I, I love this. Can you touch it with somebody? Thank God. I come to this church. I can say the memory of the things that happened in the church. The people here. Glory. And, and, and the uh, brother first thing, being the way he was, and the things that happened in the church and the service and the songs, you know, you, you, you go back and you think about these things. Thank the Lord. Amen. Yes. Thank the Lord. I love you, Christian. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.
just saying God is dead. And uh, he asked one of them one day, he says, what, what makes you think God is dead? He said, how do you know God is dead? He said, well, he said, I went to church and I saw his corpse. And God, let it not be that we're a corpse. Let it not be that we've got a dead form Come on, man. with no power. Come yes, Lord. Lord. Come on. No feeling for God. No dedication to God. Come on. I, uh, there's a lady that uh, we talked to this week. We were at the motel and, and visited with, uh, I can't remember her name, but anyway, Dawn, Dawn. And I talked to her two different times. And uh, uh, she was raised Pentecost and drifted away from the Lord and been living with a, a, a guy for 30 years, I think she said. And, but boy, I tell you what, uh, the second time I talked to her, I FaceTimed my wife, and we, we, uh, I prayed with her and, and uh, gave her her phone number and her email address and did everything we could to be accessible Amen. to her. And that second night I talked to her, I just got a little more pointed with her and come to find out she's got a sister that's still living Pentecost. And I said, well, is she really living it? She said, she's living it. I said, girl, call her tonight. Yeah. And you be in church with her Sunday, but don't wait till Sunday to rededicate and commit. Amen. 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 And uh, so I appreciate you praying for Dawn. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, uh, uh, I don't know that I've had another thought this week uh, uh, while away and everything, except that I really kind of felt a need uh, to stir your hearts to realize the great opportunity that is before us. You know, as the uh, Word of God is coming forth, talking about prophecy, and uh, Brother Donovan Smith and Brother Michael Smith talking about uh, studying the book of Revelation and everything, these things that must shortly come to pass. So if you got your Bibles, turn with me, if you will, to Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. I chose for a title, Do You Want God's Blessings? Do You Want God's Blessings? They come with a price. Yes, and I know the yes, price has already been paid yes, on the Lord's end, but the price that is to be paid on our end is a yielded, consecrated, consecrated obedient heart toward Him. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. I'm going to read the first three verses. Do you want God's blessings? God's blessings are available. Amen. amen. Yeah. Come on. Amen. In Him there, yea, and amen. Right. All right. It says verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. And this is the text verse, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Amen. For the time is at hand. Blessed, blessed is he that readeth Blessed are they that hear the words of this prophecy. Yes, and blessed are they that keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. Lord, we love you today. We thank you and we praise you for your presence. For your thank sweet, you. sweet presence, Lord. For the joy of the Holy thank Ghost, you. Lord. For the liberty of your spirit. I pray, God, that each one of us would just, God, pull down the walls and just let your love overshadow us. Help us, God, not to look to the front or the back or side to side, but God, help us to look in our own heart and search our own life, Lord. And God, see if there's anything you're wanting to do in me, God, to make me the servant, oh, yeah. Lord, that you can use. I pray that you help us today, God, to be sensitive to your will. God, I ask you to heal the hurt. Heal the brokenhearted, God. Comfort the bereaved, God. Comfort, Lord, everything that needs to be comforted today. 
God, do away with every scar, God, I pray. And let us remember that you have a purpose in the scars, Lord. If there's a scar there, it's for a purpose. And that purpose is to realize that you brought us through it, Lord. We praise you. We thank you. I ask you, help us, God, to have the mind to worship you and the spirit to do it in spirit and in truth. And we'll praise you for all of it in Jesus' name today. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Thank the Lord. You can be seated tonight. Amen. I know my brother-in-law. I remember the night that, uh, I don't know, he had had brothers that passed away and he had had all kind of a dilemma. And I remember one night he was praying on that side. I don't know why he's on that side because men usually pray on that side, but he's on that side. And it's not was hanging about that far down his nose. And I'm telling you, he wasn't hindered by it, not one iota, nor anybody that was there. Why? Because he was seeking God to pull him out of something that had had him bound. And I know my brother-in-law well enough to know the motive and the intent of his heart this morning is not to throw any stones, but to help us all to remember and reminisce and realize where God brought us from. And remember where God is wanting to take us to. That we're not our own. We've been bought with a price. And there's still people that need the love of Jesus. Amen. I want to share a poem with you that I got from Pulpit Commentary. It says, Tis a point I long to know. Oft it causes anxious thought. Do I love the Lord or no? Am I His or am I not? John, this son of thunder that yet remained, the one that leaned on the bosom of Jesus, amen, that would not die when they tried boiling him in oil. Uh, they exiled him to the isle that is called Patmos. And the Bible says he was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And he heard a voice and it was the Lord, Jesus, and gave him a, re a revelation, the angel of the Lord, Jesus, told the angel what to say, but the revelation was from Jesus, from God to Jesus, and from Jesus to the angel, and from the angel to John, and from John to the church, and from the church, amen, to a lost and dying world, and back to the church again. What are you saying? I'm trying to tell you and let you see that uh, Dake, I believe it was, said the apocalypse is, is, it is the lifting of the curtain for all to see what is uncovered for everything that needs to be revealed yeah. to be revealed to us amen and us see what lies ahead for the church amen Paul says in Ephesians 3.3 3, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery as I wrote afore in few words whereby when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ the biblical illustrator says revelation is not a history of the past nor is it a record of the present, but it is a prophecy of the future, and it is a prophecy of things yet to come. Amen. 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 I want you to know they've not yet come to us, and God has given us warning today in this, this uh, great, great, great teaching that's yeah. happened. I don't know how you were stirred last Sunday night, but I was ministered to, and I enjoyed the teaching and the preaching as they brought it forth and ministered, and, and this word here, blessed. Blessed, amen, blessed, amen, is the one, amen, he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, and this is cumulative, this is talking about heaping upon heap, blessing after blessing after blessing, yeah. and that word blessing, when you look it up and begin to uh, study it, it says a prolonged form of pro, uh, uh, poetical uh, meaning. It's supremely blessed, amen, fortunate to be very well off, to be happy, to be blessed, amen. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. And if we're not careful, we can be like those in Galatians, the third chapter, having begun in the spirit, amen. God called us out of darkness into his marvelous light and we, we just got to tell people about the love of God. We've got to show people what Jesus did for us. If we're not careful, we'll get to the place that we'll look around and begin to compare ourselves among ourselves and see, amen, that people are being blessed that are not really having to sacrifice the sacrifices that God may be requiring of us. Come on. 
Amen. 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 Come on. Now that's Amen. not in my notes. That's yes, just sir. the testimony yes. paid the way for it. Yes, the the testimony Amen. paid the way for it. Amen. Amen. The, Come on. His blood. Come on. Why do we have the liberty and the anointing of the Holy Ghost here today? Because these are first time visitors as far as I know. The testimony didn't just pay the way yes, sir. for Brother Holmes. Praise God. The testimony paved the way for yeah. Brother Charlie. Yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, God is still the one that examines me. His spirit, amen, he's still passing through the candlesticks. He's still ministering. And I'm telling you, he's wanting to do something great in these last hours. And the only way we're going to let God be able to do it through us is for us to be what God would have us to be for his kingdom, for his Each encounter we have with Christ, the anointed one, he is made clearer and more real to us than before. I was thinking as I was just meditating upon this, kind of like Brother Tommy was in 1 Kings there, chapter 20 or whatever, and I just began to think, I really do believe that, that uh, uh, John was not any closer to Jesus when he had his hand leaned on his bosom there in the garden than he is, brother, when he bowed down to the angel and the angel began to reveal and show things, amen, through the revelation of Jesus yes, Christ, yes, about yes. Jesus Christ. He saw God and he fell prostrate, amen, down and the angel no, told him it's no. not so. Don't do it for I'm a servant just like you are, amen, but worship the Christ, amen, worship the Lord Jesus no, Christ. No. And I'm telling you, there's great things that God is wanting you and I, the church, to be doing today. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Come on. Yes, I've been thinking about them ducks I've been putting on them Jeeps. And boy, some of them were so fancy, I took pictures of them. Real fancy Jeeps. But did you know those fancy Jeeps, if God does not accomplish what he wants to through those ducks, some of the drivers and the owners of those Jeeps may spend an eternity in a devil's hell. And that's why I've been praying as I put one on a Jeep. I pray and I've asked several times. I've only put about three out, I think. But I've asked the Lord to go before and work in the hearts and the lives and minister to whatever ministry needs to be being established that God may get the glory. I believe with all of my heart that's the intent, amen, of, of uh, Sister Angela's heart there. We need to realize, brother, that whenever John was in the garden, he knew Jesus in the flesh. Amen. I don't know how much he knew him in the spirit. The Holy Ghost had not yet been given the way he's given to us now. The, the curtain, the veil in the temple had not been rent in twain from top to bottom to where we could go into the Holy of Holies. But I'm telling you, that day that he was in the spirit on the Lord's day in the Isle of Patmos there, he who wouldn't boil in oil, brother, he who wouldn't burn, so to speak, hey, he got in the spirit on the Lord's day and he's still a Available to you and I today yeah. for us to get in the spirit on this day yeah. of worshiping Him yeah. today. Yes, but we need to be expecting, we need yes. to be hungering and thirsting, yes. asking God to do what He chooses and what He wants to do. Yes. Amen. A time, there were times when things were new to us. There was times that I was comfortable in my sin. Uh, one of the commentaries brought out the thought there was a time that that uh, 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 human had not sinned upon the earth yet. Amen. But that time passed. It came and passed. And they had to be sin that was fulfilled there because of the rebellion of hearts, because the inquisitiveness or feeling like that God was keeping something good from us. Come on. I want you to know God gave the best thing he had for us. Right. Yes. Yes. And he's not keeping any good thing from us. Right. Amen. There was a time when we didn't realize that judgment was going to come to our house. That we were going to realize the, the degradation and the uh, disgrace for our sin. And, and I was amazed when I got saved and, and spent time in the Word. Lots and lots and lots of time in the Word. And, and my goodness, after months... 
Even after years, God was still bringing things back to me. Amen. Amen. Shortcomings, sins, things I had done. Why was he bringing them back to me? Because I was not heaven ready? No, because I believe I was heaven ready. Brother, but they were things he was going to show. Amen. Me that he had loved, that he had given to me in spite of me. Amen. Amen. That's the reason God helped me to pick the verse and through the Holy Ghost. But God commended his love toward us. In that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. I'm Amen. telling you, John, he ran to Jesus. He bowed down his heart. Yes, and thank God for the blessed hope you, that God. led you and I in our sin to hope yes. in the Lord. To bow down and cry, holy, holy, holy is the Amen. Lord. Yes. And he's wonderful. And he's blessed. Amen. 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 Who surrenders his mind, will, and emotion Amen. to him. I remember Brother Black, Black used to stand up over here and he said, I'm just glad God gave me a mind to want to run on and serve the Lord. Yes, uh, yes. I'm glad God gave me a mind to worship Him. Amen. Yes, In yes, Revelation 22 and 7, He says, Behold, I come quickly. Yes, Amen. Blessed is he that keepeth his sayings of the prophecy yes, of this sir. book. Amen. He that hears. Amen. The sayings of this book is blessed. Yes. He that is readeth the sayings of this book and this prophecy is blessed. And he that obeys the things that are written therein are blessed. What are you saying? Amen. The last mention of the Holy Spirit in the Bible shows him. Amen. Inspiring the church. Amen. Uh, the, 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 what is it? The Perusa? The, the Spirit of God? The Ecclesia? Yeah. The church? Amen. To get a hold of themselves yeah. and let go of their own selves to yeah. God. To get a hold of themselves. Yeah. Brother Thomas said, Brother, it's yeah. hard, hard, hard to get into sin. Following a mule all day. Brother, but that's not the world we live in today. And sin is rampant everywhere. Yeah. Won't let me get away from him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, what's his name? I don't know. Yeah, Lord. 
Would you recognize him if five or ten lined up here? Would you recognize I don't know. But I know God knows. Yes, Remember that time here for about four or five years? We prayed for Rick up here on the corner. Yeah. That record driver. We prayed for Rick. We prayed for Rick. He was a backslidden pastor's son. Amen. His dad was pastor in some soul church up north somewhere. And brother, I'm telling you, one Sunday night, Rick came into service here and sat over here and had his guitar. And he began to uh, talk about the Lord and how he had surrendered his heart. Yeah. Amen. To God, he had quit his job. And tomorrow, he's going home to his daddy. Amen. And his name was Rick. Amen. But God knew who he was. Yeah, God. Oh, yeah. Thank you. God, God knew. Don't ever trust me with your name. But you can always trust God. You can always trust God with your name. I tell you what, God let it be. Brother Holmes, I believe here, and I, a few weeks now, I'll be thinking he coming here and he's white. Brother, you know the white elephant, Brother Robert Holmes from OBI. Amen. I told him, I said, I got a brother by that name. He's already gone on to his reward. Yes, Lord. yes, Lord. And I'm telling you, when God calls me home, I'm yes, going to go home to my reward. Yes, Lord. And I want to help as many people as I can Thank to you, get Thank a you, different Lord. reward Thank than what some of them are getting there. Yes, yes, right yes. now, I want to be able to song, yes, pulling them out of the fire, the Word yes, of God Thank says. You, Amen. He which testified these things saith 22 and 20, surely I come quickly. Yes, Lord. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ yes, be Lord. with you all. Amen. The last verse in the New Testament, the last verse in the Bible, I'm talking about over and over and over. God says, Behold, I come quickly. Amen. And my reward is with me, he yes, says. God. Amen. These last two chapters of the Bible focus on an issue about lying. And I don't know why I wound up on this. I, was, I read more in the commentaries than I ever do. And I was just seeking the will of God, wanting to just speak what to please the Lord. I want to be obedient. I want to have lay a foundation. I want to have you, amen, to call our neighbors and our loved ones and get somebody to come in here tonight to hear these preachers preach and teach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Thank you. But when I read this, I had to copy these verses down and go to them and read them and study them. Revelation 22 and 11, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Yes, Lord. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And yes. he that is holy, let him be holy still. Come and on, behold, man. I come quickly. Amen. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall yes, be. Sir. I am an Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the yes. first and the last. Blessed are they that do these commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates of the city. Yes, Amen. For without our dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Let me tell you something. Remember the one dog that said, Lord, the dogs eat of the crumbs. Yes, yeah. And she got it. Her daughter's healing. Amen. And I'm telling you, we need to realize some saying that the Spirit of the Lord may be speaking to us. That we may get our healing and get our salvation. That we may not be lying to ourselves. Yes, sir. That we may not be listening to the lies of the enemy. He's prejudiced. He's biased. He's fearful. He's not living right. He's this. He's that. He's not the other. He's not that either. Amen. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David. And the bride and the morning star. Yes, What's he saying? He's trying to tell us we're yes. running out of Come on. Come on. We're running out of time. We gotta do something. Yeah. We gotta help somebody. Yeah. We gotta yeah. let the Holy yeah. Ghost yeah. use us to yeah. speak yeah. to yeah. some heart. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Jesus was there in Nazareth in Luke 4 16. It says and he came to Nazareth mm -hmm. where he had been brought up, and his custom was he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath yes, day and did. stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. So when he had opened the book, he found a place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovered of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach 
the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. The priest. You talking about the man of God? Come on. Pastor, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. He said, Jesus, he knew him. He said, Jesus, if you don't recant what you say, who do, who do you make yourself to be? He said, according to the law of Moses, he said, we must stone you. Yes. I didn't look this up. When I was in the hospital, Brother Cook gave me that, uh, the chosen. And according to the chosen, Jesus looked up at him and said, I am the law of Moses. Yes, sir. Right. And buddy, they grabbed him arm in arm and began to take him toward the cliff to the Lord. Yeah. Friends, loved ones, synagogue goers and worshipers, yeah. the ones that would later, some of them, crucify him. That's right. And you and I better be careful that we don't lie to the point to where we get ourselves set up for something that the enemy tries to speak to our heart that would cause us to turn our back on even the church of the living God. Turn our back on the preaching of the gospel. Turn our back Amen. if you will on this book. Amen. God help us beware. Yeah. The church is to be serving Christ our Lord in spirit and in truth not yes, according to the letter. If there were no revelation, there would be no hope. We yes, would be wandering aimlessly without a compass. Yes, sir. Amen. Like a ship on a wild ocean without yes, any star or without moon or sun to guide us yes, in the world. No compass and not even to read it. Amen. What are you saying? I'm trying to say he is the way, the truth, and the life. But don't let us be like Pilate that said, what is truth? Come on. God help us. God's word said, Blessed is he that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them. Yes, sir. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy yes, and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. You know, if we read the Bible mm -hmm. and we read it very much and God does not speak to our heart mm -hmm. in some area, he wants us to be changed. He wants us yeah. to be working yeah. on it. He yeah. wants us, we realize a need of shortcoming there. I'm not praying like I need to be praying. Yes, it's, it's not just it's not just for those that read the Bible alone. You can read by the letter. Yes, sir. I heard about a guy one time that uh, a preacher gave him a New Testament and he said, I smoked my way smoking dope through Matthew, Mark, and Luke, I believe. But when he got to the book of Mark or Luke or John, whichever it won, amen, God got a hold of his heart and he knelt down and got saved. Woo! Brother, let me tell you, you may have
prayed and I said, God, if you will help me, I'll serve you. Yes, Lord. Amen. That's all everybody probably heard. Yes, Lord. What I was saying, I was saying other things. Lord, I'm simple. Yes, sir. It's going to be hard for you to help me. Yes, but you can do it. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Come on. If I make it, yes. come on. you can do it. The more I look to him, yes, and the more I cried out to him yes. for help, the more I felt the assurance that he was able and that he was really in charge and not me and he was going to help me and he was going to do it. Blessed is he that readeth. But you don't just need to read, you need to hear. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. Revelation 19 and 9 says, And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Who are who is called? Revelation 16 and 15. Behold, he says, I come as a thief. Yes, Lord, right. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, yes, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. Revelation 14 and 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, yes, sir. and their works do follow them. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah. I'm talking about being right with God. Yes. I'm talking about being led by the Spirit of God and yes, being sir. what God wants you to be. Amen. You got to be sensitive to the leading of God. What what God's trying to say to you. Yes. He's wanting to help you today. Amen. You can just come every service, every Sunday night, and you can hear what these gentlemen say. You can come on Sunday morning and you can hear what this preacher says. I mean, I know people in my own family and loved ones that that they they are convinced that they're okay and they're where God wants them to be. Yes. But I can shoot bullet holes through their, their bull's eyes on their back. Amen. And I'm not near as smart as the devil. He knows the word of God way yeah. better than I do. Yeah. But there's one that's sharper on the word of God than the devil. And that's that blessed spirit of God. Amen. That bridegroom's friend that's here to present. Amen. A spotless no. bride before the Lord. Brother, I'm talking about you got to do it God's way. Come on. Yeah. 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 God's way. God's way. Be ready, instant in season, out of season. Sensitive to the leading of the Lord. Always ready to give an answer to them that ask you the reason of the faith that is within you. Amen. Whenever God calls upon you and says there's a need, you got to realize that the blessing goes with those that are available for God to show forth the supply that's needed in you to meet the need. That is in somebody else. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Sure. Come on. Yes. God wants yes. to minister to the world through yes. us. He wants to help oh, us help somebody. There's a lot of counterfeiters going along. I remember when we were pastoring in Montrose, there was a brother that came through. What was that song? I got to tell somebody who was that. Uh, anyway, he played the guitar. Don Francisco. Don Francisco. There was a guy that came through called the Colorado area, Denver, Colorado Springs, heading over to the Western Slope. And I read about him. That's back when we had newspapers. And I read about him there. And, and uh, all of a sudden, the next thing I know, I turned around and he wasn't even Don Francisco's brother. <laughs> he was going in churches, getting the offerings, and lying all the while. Woo! Oh, please. Go. He feared a lot of things, possibly, but God. What he needed to fear was not what he feared. I'm telling you. The thing that's in your heart is going to determine whether you end up on the inside or the outside. Whether you come in by the sheep gate or come in some other way. And I want you to know I beg of you. I beg of you. On a regular basis, 10, 15, 20 times a day, <clears throat> ask God to search your heart. Come on. Ask God to examine your life. Oh, how are you? Yeah. 
Try yes. my ways, oh God, and see if there be any wicked way in me. Yes, sir. Help me, God, not to have a form of godliness with no power. There you go. Help me, God, not to go through the motions yes. and have wondering eyes. Let me tell you, I wouldn't have been able to talk to that lady if I'd been having wondering eyes. Yes, I know me. I'm not smart enough to be double-minded. <laughs> Amen. I need everything I got with the Lord. And if I'm double-minded, I fall pretty quick. I trip over something. I get in trouble, brother. I'm calling my wife. I'm calling the church. I'm calling somebody. Help me. Help me. Amen. You say, well, they may pray for something where you don't need help. I just want them praying. Lord. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yes, Lord. Let me tell you, I was on my way to hell. Oh, I know. Oh, Lord. I went back to Clued and was reminiscing this week of some of my ignorant days, more ignorant mm -hmm. than the last 44 years. Mm -hmm. Brother, I'm telling you what, I was close to tears on different occasions as I thought of the grace of God. Yes, sir. Lord, the yes, grace of God. Yes, His, yes, mercy. Yes, sir. His mercy. Yes. His mercy. Yes. Yes. He, put, he put this one out of the yes, Oh, yeah. 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 And I'm telling you, he can do it for you too. And when you come, if the Lord comes for tonight, before tonight, find yourself praying and asking God to help you to understand if you make it everything that is said tonight. When you're here, God, don't just let them speak. God, when you speak. Don't listen, let everybody else hear. But God, let me hear. Yes. Yeah. Don't let me get yes. to the point to where I don't want to bother or offend anybody. Come on. But let me tell you, if you're not bedridden, you need to be in God's house. Hold on. You need to be in God's yes, house. Sir. Let me tell you, some of you, if you knew the weakness that I felt sometimes, you say, well, why don't you believe God to heal you? Well, I'm believing with everything I got within me. I'm praying. Amen. The same prayers I used to pray. The same faith I used to have. It used to work seemingly better than it seems to be working today. But I was reading and I was studying Sister Cindy and I found out, brother, those that are compassed about out of the way, those that suffer much, those are the ones that God opens doors. Amen. And gives them grace to minister to others much. Amen. And it may be that God wants some of you to mature in prayer. I won't be embarrassed or ashamed if you pray the prayer of faith and God heals my voice. Yes, sir. God heals my spirit, my temperament, gives me strength. Yeah. I won't. I heard. I heard here a few years ago. Didn't think a whole lot about it, but I praised the Lord with the brother. Yeah. He was teaching in a Baptist church a Sunday school lesson, and it was just fairly whisper like this, fairly whisper like this. And he stopped talking for a minute and got real quiet, like Brother Tommy did, and he said. He said, folks, he said, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know what God's doing. I'm, I'm not sure. He said, I'm but in his time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Behold. And my reward is with me. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to know he's gonna. We're gonna, he's gonna bring something with him. Yes, Lord. When he comes, and if we're ready, we're gonna go with him. For the vials and the bowls and the wrath. Yes, sir. Mm. You ought to look at that word. Mm. Amen. Hurt. You ought to look at that word wrath. Man. Come on. Yes, sir. Now. This world has never seen. That's true. Nor ever shall see. Yes, sir. Yeah. What God is going to rain down yeah, upon this world. Yeah. Yes. If we could see it and get a glimpse of it through the Spirit of God, I believe even hard-hearted people would get a tear for the lost and the indifferent, for those that are dying without God. God help us. Amen. Would you, would you really pray for God to do something great in our services, for God to give us revival, for God to save the lost and heal the sick. I talked to somebody this week that 
Well, I talked to other somebody's this week too, but uh, people that didn't go to our church very long but did come to our church, and I admonished them to come and listen that they might be helped. Amen. If I'm the problem, here's a here's a here's a get around the problem. I didn't say that. I don't think that's the case. I mean, he sends me birthday stuff, and you know, uh, God knows. But I do want you to know something: the devil don't care what he uses yes, to, to hinder anybody from making heaven. He just wants to hinder them, yes, sir. Yes, sir. and he wants to hinder them that are. Yeah. Likely to be most effective for God. Yes. Because he wants to keep as many people in misery you know, yes. to hurt the heart of God as he can. Praise the Lord. Would you love Jesus today? Let's just lift our hearts to the Lord and tell him we thank him. Oh, God, we thank you and we praise you today, Lord. God, today we ask you to touch and overshadow God. Heal our bodies, our spirits, and our minds, Lord. I ask you, God, to touch that lady, Lord, and minister to her, Dawn. God, I ask you to help her, Lord, and let her turn to you. God, let her be in some church this morning, God, fighting to be on the firing line with you, Lord. God, touch that war to man, God. Please don't let him have slipped off into eternity undone. But touch him and protect him and draw him into you, I pray, Lord. God, save our lost loved ones, Lord, and use us, God, as a body of believers to accomplish your will for your glory, Master. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Amen. God, help us. God, help us. Amen. Do you want to go to heaven? Do you want to be blessed? Do you want to please the Lord? Do you want God's blessings on your heart and life? Cry out to Him. Ask Him to help you. Why don't we stand this morning? I want to ask everybody to stand if you will while these lift their hands and hearts to the Lord and, and ask God to touch each of us. You just lift your hands to the Lord and say, God, please help me. God, please save me and minister to me. God, that your will would be accomplished in and through me, Lord. Oh, God, let me not be ashamed of you. God, you said if I'm ashamed of you down here, God, you'd be ashamed of me before my Father, Lord, before your Father. Oh, God, I'm not ashamed of you. Let none of us be ashamed of you, Lord. Let us believe and hear and follow the teachings of this book in your word, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray, Lord. God, help us today, Lord. Help us, Holy One, we pray. Help us, God. Wake us up before it's too late. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Help us, Lord. I appreciate everything God's done today. Lord, I love you. God, I love you. I praise you today. Oh, God, take your liberty in our church and our homes and families, Lord. God, give us souls, Lord, we pray. Oh, God, accomplish your will while it is yet day, Lord. God, the night comes when no man can work. Help us to work while it's day, Lord. Oh, God, hear him I use me. Let there be a cry of each heart. Every way. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.